It's robust. It's weather sealed. It's a great price. Amazing detail. And it's a great focal length. The lens we're talking about is the 100mm macro from Canon, the L series. It's a beast. Stupidly, I'm recording on a firing range. Idiot. So this lens, the 100mm macro, the L, red ring, this has been my best camera investment. Uh, forget camera body upgrades, forget other lenses. This lens is my beast. It's my workhorse. I use it on pretty much every single shoot. Now let's go through why this lens is a great investment for anyone. Bah! Like all L series lenses from Canon, they are so robust. They can take a lot of knocks. They have superior build quality. They feel quite heavy, but that's a good thing. It just means they're full of amazing glass for the best optics. It's also weather sealed. I've managed to shoot in torrential rain, really wet snow, and the lens performed flawlessly. I've even done like family shoots on the beach, the sand, you know, it's, it's a lens's worst enemy, but with the lens hood on, I'm able to continue shooting without getting in the sensor and stuff. So weather sealing has been vital for my use of the camera and I will always continue to purchase lenses that are weather sealed. Downside is I've now succumbed to the L series weather sealing and it's more expensive, which is sucky. It's got great detail as well. This is a macro lens, so you can shoot anything really close and the detail is phenomenal. I use it for my pet portraits. The fur detail is just really rich. I can really bring out the texture in it. That is what's giving my portraits its kind of signature look. I like to think the lens is helping out a lot in that area. Yes, it's an L series lens, so the cost is gonna be a little bit higher. But as I said, over the last two years, this has been my best investment. You can find it quite cheap. I like to think quite cheap. I think you can get it for around 600-ish if you look in the right places. Uh, also try out used. It's an investment and this is going to last me for a long long time i use it like i say for every single shoot so the money side of it is almost irrelevant stunning lens for a fair price for what you use it for the focal range being 100 millimeter is actually really quite useful it's flattering for portraits there's no awkward shapes going on for human structure within the face so very flattering it's also a great focal length for a bit of background compression which means we bring the background closer to the action that's being focused on. And it's, uh, you know, it's the next step up from like a 50 mil. This is a 2.8, so you're still getting some lovely background blur and uh, a lot of light coming into the lens. But what we're focusing on is it's flattering for facial features and it's good for compression of the background. Oh my God, I did that. That's it for this video. I'm running out of card space and the sun's coming out and ruining all the shots. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Give me your comments on your favorite lens. And also, I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe. Laters. I think there's spiders in this tree.